Cut! Okay, everybody, moving to next scene. Ah, glad you made it. Welcome to the Hyper Bowl. This studio is a joint venture of four companies, NSYNC, ACHT, TFN, and Fornell, and now operates as an independent virtual production studio that is open to everyone. With more than 400 square meters of high-res LED, the Hyper Bowl is the largest volume of its kind in Europe. Even our ceiling is made of the same high-res LED as the walls. Automotive is a particularly valid use case for virtual production because its hero, the car, is such a glossy object. You can't photograph a car without an environment. And this is where classical studio shoots or even green screens hit their limits. Now we can radically expand what can be produced in a studio with all the benefits that come along with this. Here we have steady lighting conditions over the whole day which can be exactly reproduced at any time. You can shoot multiple locations in one day and this is time saving and cost efficient but this is also of course much more sustainable. And another important aspect is confidential prototypes can be kept out of public at ease and still be shot as if they were on location. Wenn ich mir überlege, wie viele Straßen man schon abgesperrt hat für diverse Drehs. Das brauchen wir hier nicht. Und ziemlich geil für First Time, muss man echt mal sagen, dass das irgendwie so, so gut geklappt hat. Finde ich gut. What really fascinates me about this technology is that it opened up so many creative possibilities. When it comes to content creation, you can assume that about 80% of the traditional post-production becomes pre-production. You can use existing 3D pipelines to create your environments to be used on an LED stage. Concept artist, 3D modeling, shading and lighting, it's basically all the same, except you have to bring it all into Unreal and make sure that it can be rendered in real time. Then you can benefit from all the possibilities of a real-time engine, such as changing light in real time and altering the scene, but also virtual interactive shooting plan and previous. With this process, you can create a lot of content in very short time. The ID4 campaign was shot in only two days. We had five locations, two abstract worlds, six talents, and we created a 60 seconds ad, various formats for social media, and then also for different international markets. Virtual production is also getting a lot of attention for live communication, such as car launches or virtual keynotes. For these projects, we have combined the virtual sets with layers of augmented reality in real time. You can add virtual props to your set designs, and you can even present cars that only exists as a virtual concept and have never been physically produced. Working for a couple of years within the automotive area, I know the expectations of this industry on CG are very high. Moving footage has always been the supreme discipline. But with virtual production, known from Hollywood productions like The Mandalorian, there is now a cost-efficient solution which reflects the high expectations and can match the creative's ideas. Storytelling has become more important with today's customers buying a lifestyle alongside with the product. The CG environment can perfectly match the communication strategy and can be integrated into a seamless storyline using various media assets. Starting at the virtual courtyard for OEM internal management presentations, reuse at the commercial production and all other media assets, the synergies are obvious. Epic Games supports this by providing a huge Megascans library for free in all Unreal-based productions, which can be endlessly enriched by the recreation using the Quixel Mixer technology. Thanks for having us here from the Hyper Bowl. It was a pleasure to be here. 
and enjoy the rest of your build event. See you.